I am Iori Folani. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, it's been a busy weekend uh, on the uh, political scene, uh, and not all of it necessarily is in Nigeria. The Senate, as you know, will be will commence screening of the ministerial list sent to them by the president. Um, but our concern this morning is going to be events in neighboring Niger. Uh, as you know, there's been a coup there, and um, indeed um, the uh, African Union has you know, um, spoken. There's, there was a summit yesterday, Sunday, in Abuja. And they've come out with a communique. Long and short of it is that there will be a zero tolerance. Indeed, um, it has been demanded that um, the coup leader there, uh, we need to get used to these names, uh, General Abdurrahmane uh, Tichiani. Tich Tich <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a tough name to pronounce. It, it is. He's taking charge. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, ECOWAS has said that you must hand it back. Worse still, uh, for them, they've put a timeline to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, my guest this morning is uh, Kade Eswala, a political scientist, research associate prof at uh, IADS, University of Lagos. As always, Kade, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Uh, Indeed. Uh, so, as I was saying, this seems to be um, a, a tough one because we thought we were seeing less of coups. And uh, when you look at um, uh, that whole swathe of countries mm -hmm. uh, that includes Shad, you, you find that... Um, on the contrary, it seems to be catching. It's mm. a, catching as a common cold. Mm -mm. Um, were you surprised with the situation in Chad, mm. especially the Niger. coup in Chad? Niger. I beg your pardon. The coup, <laughs> in, uh, the coup in Niger. Chad, Chad was some, some exactly. month ago. Exactly. You know. In well, um, um, the, the straight answer is that I am not in any way surprised. Mm. I'm not surprised because what is playing out is what I choose to call... Um, um, action and reaction of extreme power usage, you know. Uh, the, the, the political system is set in such a way that there, there are powers that are, you know, uh, at the disposals of several parts. The government has its own power, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the military has its own power, the judiciary has its own power. The people also have their own power. So what you see is that when one of the sectors or sections, so to say, use power in the extreme sense, okay, that action will catalyze reaction from other parts of the society. Mm -hmm. People could react by engaging in uprising, protests, riot, okay, if the reaction is not coming from the people, it could be from the military. And that comes in terms of coup and counter coup, mm. as we have witnessed across uh, West Africa now. It shocks you to know that um, four out of the eight or so Francophone countries in West Africa are now being led by military coup. For an analyst, uh, you want to interrogate why. Uh, beyond the emotion of judgment. Uh, and, they and don't also, like democracy. And also no. that these countries are mostly, if not entirely, mm. uh, uh, Francophone countries. That, that's what I'm saying. Speaking. That's what I'm saying, Francophone countries. But there's no. peculiarity. Peculiarity in the sense of the locations of these countries that you have now. If you see all of them, Mali, Burkina Faso, Chad, and Niger, they are neighbors. They are almost also all deadlocked and they are exposed to the Libya comb Middle East where small arm um, ammunition are flowing in, which means they are also exposed to terrorism, okay? Much more than what you have in the coastal states. So what you have is a situation of serious pressure of insecurity within the political system. So if the military feels wrongly or otherwise, mm. you cannot know that the government are not doing enough to address the insecurity, it is very likely for the military to react, especially because insecurity goes directly to the sector of the military. You know, young men and women in school, in hospitals, don't go to war. They can only be killed accidentally. But when there is insecurity, the military lives are on the way. So it's explainable, not justifiable, mm -hmm. how you see these guys um, coming out to make claims and counterclaim, part of which is insecurity. And an extension to that is that there is a contagious dimension to it. 
when your neighbor engages in an action, and that action is called a military coup, and it does look like it is getting result, that neighbor is getting result in terms of a country now from mm -hmm. that action, mm -hmm. you're also tempted to do the same thing, especially when you feel your own government is also not doing what it's supposed to do. So there are a lot of ways in which this can be explained, not justified. Not justified, explained. explained. However, yeah. And um, yeah. the, the other, uh, well, uh, notable, remarkable thing is that um, this coup uh, seems to be something of a, of a popular coup mm. in, uh, in, in Niger mm. itself. Mm. Uh, there were pictures of uh, youths, mm. you know, parading the streets, uh, burning the French flag, mm -hmm. hoisting the Russian flag. <laughs> so there's also that worry uh, that, look, are these people now looking more to, that is to say, uh, the, 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 the coupists, if there's any such word, mm -hmm. so, uh, let's make it out of We can create the words if it doesn't exist. <laughs> exactly. We, we have the license. You know, so this is how they have worked it mm -hmm. out. But now that um, the ECOWAS body has slammed them with um, an ultimatum, mm. uh, I guess we're going to have to wait to see how they react, because they did say um, that uh, they were considering all options to return to re re return this to normalcy, mm. uh, not excluding force. Mm. That that mm. that would have been a first, isn't, mm -hmm. it? isn't it? I, I can't remember if force has been threatened and indeed deployed uh, in recent memory in Africa, but to show the seriousness of purpose of mm, these mm, times, mm. they're saying that you've got to hand back in seven days, mm. or mm. you shall see a reaction from us. Well, I think we must commend um, ECOWAS for coming out with this very strong warning, very strong uh, condemning position towards the coup. In principle, that mm. is what ECOWAS should do. Mm -hmm. In principle, that is the uh, body language and the disposition that one expects from the cause. However, it goes beyond that, much beyond that. Um, in elementary political science or social studies, what you and I were taught and what we are made and socialized to believe is that legitimacy and sovereignty uh, lie, both of them lie in the hands of the people. Therefore, it is thought that people are wiser than the institutions that they put in place to run their society. That is the thinking. Okay. When in theory we say power lies in the hands of the people. When you just win an election, you say, well, the Nigerian people in their wisdom exactly. have decided. So mm -hmm. in theory, what it means is that people are wiser. Now, on that assumption, if there was coup in Mali, and the Malians welcomed the coup against a purportedly democratically elected government, if there was the same in Chad, same thing happened. In Burkina Faso, same thing happened. And in Niger, only some two days ago, mm. same thing eventually happened. Mm. Then, are you saying that people are no longer wise? That's what you taught us. That's the term of social engagement. Mm -hmm. The answer is more likely to be no. People are still wise, but they do not see support where they expect it. So they are shifting base to alternative support system, which they hope will give them what they want. And that is why I started by capturing it as mm, action and reaction of extreme power usage within West African state. What happened is that the power of government exists, but it can be deployed in normal sense as well as in extreme sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you deploy it in a normal sense, it means you are balancing it. You are doing what you're supposed to do, increasing the privileges of the ruling class, doing all these things, and then the people are not suffering. If you deploy it in the extreme way, People are choked and they are dying. People will therefore also invoke the powers that they have. Military is part of the people, part of the government. I was going to say the it, power it has uh -huh. lies in the barrel of the gun. Indeed, uh, it, people 
are part of the government. The power they have is insurgency. So you now have a situation in which extreme deployment of power on the part of the state and the government now catalyze military coup which supports protests from the people. You can which win indeed, such war. Which indeed is what has happened. We, which is the deed. What has happened, happened now. You can win such war. We're going to come back and talk yeah. about this more. Mm -hmm. uh, this more. Let me go on a quick break. Yeah. Please stay with us. Uh, we'll be right back. I'll be right back.